going out for three years old. How to render a video with an OVA channel that not exceeds more than a gig of file. We're not gonna be using AV file form, but we're gonna use QuickTime. So let me show you um, here. So here's my sample rendered um, AV file with Alpha channel. So as you can see, it's 5 gig. Look, 5 gig. But the seconds of the video is only 5 seconds. It's 1080p video. So as you can see, all of this are AVI except this. So you can see it's 88 gig. This trick is very easy. Sometimes I use this trick in Sony Vegas Pro. So here, I'm gonna exit for a while. Let's say for example, this is my video with an alpha channel. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl M or render key. I'm just gonna do like this. Then you wanna go to lossless settings. Then from AVI, I'm gonna go to QuickTime. Then from QuickTime, I'm gonna go to format options. Then from format options, then go to um, animation. Just pick the animation video codec, then press OK. Then set the channels to RGB plus alpha. Then here, as you can see, press OK. Then select it um, wherever you want. For the other problem, when you are trying to render this in a media encoder, this does not work. So you have to render it inside After Effects only. By the way, I'm using After Effects CC 2020. So, let's go. So, when you hit render, uh, uh, so let me rename this. 7. No? Test low file size. Okay. Hit render. So, now the rendering is, is done. So, let's check the file size. So, this is the file size. So you can see it's 164 MB compared to the AVI file, which is 8 gig. So you can check the details of it. So the resolution size is, I think it's 4K. While the QuickTime format is 4K as well, but same. It's always same. Same settings, but the file size is reduced, so there are no quality loss of it. So if you think that this tutorial helps, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, insights about this video tutorial. Thank you guys, thank you guys and have a nice day.